The email action will send an email when an event occurs on the form, like a form submission. By default, the email message will send a summary of the submission data, but can be modified by the user. The full submission data is also available to interpolate, so users can configure the action to dynamically send the email to an address submitted by the user, or include certain submission data points within the message. Users can also integrate their own email transport and create their own custom email template. Form.io does recommend to use your own email transport. Information about transport integrations can be found on our help docs. All right, let's add a new email action to one of our forms. I've already configured a SendGrid integration within my project settings, so I'll be choosing SendGrid for my transport options. Next, I want to dynamically send this email to the email address the user submits with the form. To do so, I will interpolate the data from the email field by adding the following. Just note that the name email found right here comes from the property name of the email field found within the form. All right, we also have options to CC and BCC a copy of the email. Next thing I'm going to change is my subject line. And I want to include the name of the user submitting the report. So I'm going to change this up. And we're going to interpolate the name data found on the form. Again, this is the property name of the name field. And for the message, I'm going to keep this the same. And what this is doing is interpolating um, all of the submission data for all the fields. So I'm going to get basically a summary of all the field data when I see the email here. All right, let's test this email action out by using the form. I go ahead and fill this out. Hit submit. And we'll check our inbox and make sure we receive the email. All right, looking at our email here, we can see our subject line does have the name field included. We also can see the email address was interpolated for the to address here. And we have a nice summary of all of our field data within the email. It is worth noting that you can create your own email template using Nunjuk templating, and all that information can be found within our help documentation under the email action.